In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this envelope with flowers. First of all, open the sewing hoop and just make your design. Lower the opacity of your design and just create a layer on top to start sewing. I'm gonna use the backstitch thing. Just select the color that you like your envelope and select the black one and start going on top of the lines. You can make your lines completely straight just by holding them, but I like to hand draw them to create a more realistic look. When you finish, just take the rubber and rub it at the stitches that they don't look right, especially on the corners. I'm gonna start drawing the flowers, so create a new layer on top, any colors that you like, I'm using the countryside palette, and just go over all the stems of the flowers. I like to start from the bottom right to the top. I'm gonna change my brush to the back stitch pressure because it's better for the corners, and yeah, go on top all the leaves. My tip here it is that the pressure brush, the softer that you go, the smaller than the stitches are. So I recommend to do softer strokes on the round corners of the leaf and more like harder ones on the edges. When you have finished your leaves, just with the rubber, rub it out the stitches that they are a little bit pointy and you are ready to go. Because I would like to have exactly the same leaf on the other side, I'm gonna just duplicate the layer. I'm gonna go through all the leaves and follow the same method. If you want, you can try it out, all the different stitches and brushes and see how they look, what's the difference on them. But I quite like the, um, the backstitch pressure, so I'm just continue with this one until I fill it up all the layer gaps. For the flowers, exactly the same. We get with a stitch and go over all the petals. Just change the colors to the one that you like. I'm gonna show you how to make a different flower with the satin stitch pressure. It's very simple, just pick up the color that you like and just pressure and it will create a circular flower. The last flower is gonna be slightly different. Keep using the satin stitch pressure. If you pay attention, depending how hard soft you press, it will create a bigger, smaller stitch. Keep doing this, pressing very soft on the edges and harder in the center. Then do the circular flower that I showed you before for the center, and that's it. For the last flower, just follow the same method as before, just coloring, same as the leaves. I'm just go over my flowers to complete the centers. This time I'm using the back stitch thing to create the centers, just uh, playing with the different size. And the last thing that we are going to do, it is to use alpha lock in all our layers. I want to change slightly the colors in the centers of the leaves. I'm gonna select one of my oil pastel brushes, but you can use really any brush. And in the center of all the leaves and stems, I'm just gonna go with a darker color. Same for the flowers. In the petals just behind the center of the flowers, I'm gonna go with a darker color. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.